Let us study the major diseases of pomegranate now. Phytophthora fungus causes root rot, neck rot, leaf shedding, and fruit rot diseases. In case of leaf rot, water soaked lessons appear on the leaves. Gradually, the leaves decay and drop. Fungus spreads to the twigs as well, resulting in drying. Small spot appearing on the fruit spreads to the whole fruit. Then the fruit rots and drops off. Flower affected with Phytophthora fungus drops. In case of root rot, a major portion of the root system rots, resulting in yellowing of the plant. This plant will have less leaves and flowers, resulting in poor yield. The fungus attacks foot portion of the stem and the plant dies. Phytophthora rot is common in the rainy season. Avoid water logging. Drenching and spraying 1% Bodo mixture or 0.3% COC or 0.2% Chlorotholonel solution effectively controls rot diseases. Anthracnose disease of pomegranate is caused by Collectotrichum fungus. Incidence of this disease is more in humid climate of the rainy season. Water-soaked spots appear on the leaves, flowers and fruits. Spot on the skin of the fruit elongates into a lesion affecting the look. This fruit gets rejected for exports. The fungal pathogen spreads in the air. This anthracnose disease is common in most of the pomegranate areas of India. Put 1 gram thiophenate methyl in 1 litre of water and spray it twice in 15 days interval. Better not to use carbon desim and mancojep as the residual period is more which may affect the exports. Fungal wilt Fungal wilt is the second most important, deadly disease of pomegranate. This has spread to most of the pomegranate plantations in India, resulting in huge economic loss. In most of the cases, Ceratocystis fimbriata fungus is the causal organism. Branches of the plants show yellowing and dry one after the other. It may take 6 to 12 months for complete wilting of the whole plant. The symptom remains the same even in the case of short hole borer and fungal rot. But in this fungal wilt, we find splitting of the base of the main stem. Cross section of the stem shows brown or violet blotches. In most of the cases, the plant dies with the complex of all these problems. Fungal wilt spreads to new gardens easily through infected layer plants and the soil in the packet. The pathogen survives in the soil and the dead plant paths for a long time. The disease spreads to the adjacent plants through root contact. Flooding water, termites and implements spread the fungus in the garden. This fungal wilt is severe in black clay soils which holds more moisture. Dig a trench of 2 feet depth around the affected plant to isolate it from surrounding healthy plants. Uproot the dead plant and destroy by burning. Put fire to the pit also to kill the fungus in the soil. Drip irrigation avoids chance of spread of the disease through irrigation water. Select disease-free plants for fresh planting. It is better to spray fungicide to the layer plant before planting. Sterilize the cicatures used for pruning with fungicide solution. Treating the affected plant and the surrounding plants in the early stage will control the disease effectively. Loosen the soil around the affected plant. Put 3 ml propiconazole, 2 grams of manco jab, and 3 ml galpomil in 1 liter of water. Drench 5 liters of the solution around the plant 2 to 3 times in a week interval. Treat the recovered plant again after one year. If the farmer neglects this fungal wilt disease, he will have to lose the garden. <laughs>